Hi, everybody. Matt Bernier joined by DRF's National Handicapper, Mike Watchmaker, taking a look at this weekend's Weekend Warrior Saturday, May the 26th. Two graded stakes from Santa Anita, one from Monmouth Park. Let's start off with the sixth out of Santa Anita, Mike. The Charlie Whittingham, a mile and a quarter on the turf course. And although most people look at it's in the post as the deserving favor, you're going to take a little shot against it. Well, I am, but it's in the post as much the horse to beat here. Uh, you know, he was the beaten favor with third last time in the Elkhorn, but he's returning to Santa Anita and his last four starts on the turf in Santa Anita were all stakes victories. I mean, he's going to be tough to beat. I just thought Syntax was a viable alternative in this spot. Syntax, I thought, ran pretty well in his first two starts this year, both of them in March. Both of them were in one-mile turf stake races, and I think one mile is too short for him. And I think he'll very much like to stretch out in distance to a mile and a quarter on Saturday. In fact, in his final start of 2017, Syntax was a trouble trip third in the, in the uh, Charlie Winningham, um, beaten only uh, less than a length for it all. And, uh, you know, I, I think a return to that form uh, is entirely possible in here. Is it good enough to beat us in the post? Well, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I think the price is going to be good enough to try and find out. They're running two grade ones out at Santa Anita on Saturday. You're going to take a look at the eighth race, the grade one gainly for Phillies and Mares, a mile and an eighth on the turf course. you got a lot of imports coming in from the East Coast. You're intrigued by Hawksmoor. I am intrigued by Hawksmoor. You know, there's not a lot of speed in this race. I mean, you can say that about one turf race after another turf race after another turf race, but it's really true in this race. I mean, if you look at some of the other horses that at times have shown some degree of position or early speed, they were through very, very slow fractions, whereas Hawksmoor is legitimately quick horse early. She's a legitimate speed horse. Now, she had no excuse whatsoever losing her seasonal debut of one to five down at Laurel. Uh, she just, she got beat and she did not run particularly well. But I'm hoping that that race throws everybody off the track and, and, and you know, I think she's going to be in control of the pace this time. And, you know, why would Arno Delacour ship her all the way out west? I know it's a great one spot. Great ones are valuable uh, to potential broodmares, but still, it'd be a lot of trouble for a horse if he thought that horse lost a step. But I guess he doesn't think so. And when she controls the pace, Hawksport can be really tough as she showed when she won the New York Stakes uh, almost a year ago at this particular point in time. Salty turf event out at Monmouth on Saturday afternoon. Race number 12, the Monmouth Stakes, a mile and an eighth on the turf, similar to the game lead. From a field standpoint, it's very, very competitive. You can go a number of ways in here. You're going to go to the outside with Frostmourne. I am going with Frostmourne, mainly because the two Jad, Chad Brown trained horses in here projected a money multiplier, while certainly top win candidates have also shown on several occasions that they're camera shy. They've finished second in a lot of races that they had no business losing. I do think that they have a little bit of a hanging streak in them. And, you know, I just don't want that. And um, Frostmourne, I think, is the next best horse in the race. And, uh, you know, Frostmourne was compromised by a slow pace last time out in the Makers 46. He tried to close into that pace. He couldn't do it. Art to Art went wire to wire that day as he does in so many races when he walks in the early league. Um, but Frostmourne showed real ability last year when he won the Penn Mile and he won the Kent. And I thought he ran very well winning his first start this year in allowance race at Gulfstream Park. I mean, it shows that, uh, you know, he's very much in sharp form again this year. And, you know, he's got Joel Rosario taking, you know, taking them out this time. Rosario can be an aggressive rider. This is the spot to be aggressive. I'm hoping Frostmore goes to the lead and never looks back. An all-turf edition of the Weekend Warrior. You can find the entire write-up over on DRF.com. DRF's National Handicapper, Mike Watchmaker. Great stuff as always. We'll talk again next week. Thank you, Matt.